Okay, my name's Ian Hurst and I'm part of the Crafty Catcher crew. I'm faced with the water today and I'm not quite sure what's out there. I can see a little bit of weed drifting about. I've had a little lead about. There's a little bit of weed on the bottom. An absolute go-to rig if you're not quite sure what you're fishing over or you haven't got limited time and you just want to put a bag out on a showing fish, for example, is the best thing to do is use a solid PBA bag. Basically, that little bag is going to settle over that little bit of weed there and present a rig nicely for you, so you'll always be fishing. So it's a pretty much go-to safety rig, if in doubt. What you need to do when you're fishing this sort of method is use micro pellets. You can crumb boil up and things like that, but a micro pellet mix gets a really nice compact bag. I tend to use a little solid, a little tiny bag, one of the PBA solid bags. Um, these are the small size, 60 by 105 mil, so you get a real tight, compact bag. The bait I'm using on this particular session is a micro pellet mix. Now it's absolutely full of various sized micro pellet. There's also dried shrimp in there, there's krill meal and soluble fish proteins. So it's a real fishy mix, amino rich, and it will leak off slowly. Those pellets, with them being halibut pellets, are quite a slow breakdown. Plus you've got various sized pellets in there, so they're all going to break down at different times. So they're constantly leaking attraction into the swim. Okay, another little tip and a very important one for you is to add a liquid to the pellet mix. You probably noticed in that pellet mix when I was showing it you a second ago, there was uh, lots of dried shrimp in there. Now that may float, or some of it may float, so a good tip and an added boost to the actual mix is to use a liquid. Now this krill extract is pure concentrate and it's actually taken from the flesh of krill, believe it or not. So it's a real rich protein, amino acid rich uh, fish attractor basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to the pellet mix, give it a bit of time to soak in because you want it to draw into the pellet and to soak into that dried shrimp. And while that's happening, I'll run you through how we knock the bag together. Okay, so let's have a look at the rig components that you need for solid bag fishing. It's dead simple. Uh, basically, tungsten rig tube. Slide that onto your main line to start the rig off. So you've got a foot length of tungsten there. That pins everything down to the bottom. Follow that with a little tail rubber. These little flat inline leads have a little tail rubber attached. So you take that off and you thread that onto the main line. It's starting to look like that. So thread the tubing into the little tail rubber. Next, all you need is a quick change, inline drop off swivel. Tie a blood knot or whatever your favorite knot is to the big ring on the swivel. And that's basically it, it couldn't get any simpler. Obviously your hook link then goes on to the fast change attachment, the quick change uh, attachment on that swivel. And this is very simple, a very supple uh, three inch soft braided hook link. Very simple hook, little curved um, mugger hook, and it's on a blowback and uh, the, the hook baits are wafter. Now I've trimmed that wafter down, I did check it in the water just to make sure that it hovers just above that hook and the hook lies flat on the deck. So very simple rig components for solid bag fishing. I'll just show you how you actually put the lead on, just so you're aware. It's quite simply, get your drop off lead, plug it into the tail rubber, the swivel end of the quick change plugs in the end, pull it all tight, and there you have it. That goes into your bag with your the mesh uh, with the micro mix that I showed you earlier, and I'll show you how to make the bag. Okay, so filling the bag is a very simple process. Obviously, don't worry when it's trying to rain like I'm trying to do now. However, we shall crack on. Now the mix, I've added some krill liquid to it, which I mentioned earlier. And what I actually do with this, you need to give it a little stir to blend it all in there. Got a little twig, that's all you need. Don't do it with your fingers, it always gets very messy, very sticky. So give that a good mix in. Now that looks absolutely perfect. Now that liquid is PVA friendly, by the way, which is very important. So start off, just a little bit of mix into the bag. Just in the bottom. Yeah. First thing in is your hook bait. Just lower that in. Trap the lead between your fingers. Position this wherever you want it. Everybody tends to put it into the corner. So that's what I'm gonna do. Add more mix into it, into the bag. Can get little collars for these bags just to hold them open, but personal choice. Put a bit of mix in there. What I do then is I use the lead to actually bang and squeeze it in, just flatten it in there. Compact the bag up with the, um, with the lead. Now hold your lead in position. Again, I'm using my fingers just to trap this so everything's nice and taut in the bag. It's not all flopped over, so the lead's still positioned. Try and keep the lead fairly central. 
surround it with more bait, get all this bait in there. Loads of attraction going in here. And once you've got the bag to the actual level where you want it, now you can tie them off, you can use PVA tape, you can, the Fox ones, you can lick on those systems. What I tend to use, which I think is easier than all the rest, is uh, PVA cable ties. Now they're not the cheapest product in the market, but they're absolutely superb. Give the bag a twist, give it a tap, get all that air out, get it nice and compact. As you can see, it's starting to look absolutely solid. Those micro pellets fill all the gaps in there, so there's no air pockets. So it's already a compact tight bag. Okay, so twist it off like thus. Just hold it in your fingers again. And these are the cable ties that I mentioned, PVA. Get that threaded through, a little bit tricky. What we get in there. Just got to concentrate here while I just position this. Use your teeth to grip it. Pull it nice and tight. Excuse me. The tighter you get it, the better. And once that's nice and tight, just trim off that tag end. And as you can see, it's quite tidy. To make it even tidier, just, just trim off this excess PVA. Just be careful not to cut your tube in. Don't chuck that away. I know it'll melt, but just always bin all your bits and pieces. Quick lick, fold over the corners so it's even more compact and aerodynamic. If you're chucking it a long way, the more aerodynamic the bag, the better. Just hold them into position, just hold them still for a sec. And you've got a nice compact tight solid PVA bag perfect for throwing at showing fish or if you've got a little bit of a weedy condition and you want to present a bait effectively nothing better give it a go